Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So Peak Design have just made a huge release with a whole bunch of updates to their everyday line, to the everyday messenger, the everyday slings, the everyday tote. They've even gone to introduce some completely new products like the everyday backpack zip and the everyday tote pack. Today we look at some serious updates to the original, the iconic everyday backpack in the everyday backpack V2. Check it out. I'm Ed from Rush Faster. We do guides and walkthroughs, bring you better gear just like this bag. So if you're new to the channel or interested in that, please consider subscribing. Let's jump right in and check out the new Peak Design Everyday Backpack. So today we have the Everyday Backpack in both sizes, in the 20 litre and the 30 litre. You'll notice that they're in completely new colors as well. The 20 liter is sporting this beautiful midnight navy and the 30 liter is in this beautiful redesigned charcoal. We'll be looking at the 20 liter for most of this video. The exterior shell of the everyday backpack is made of a weatherproof 400D nylon canvas shell, which is DWR impregnated and is double poly coated. Not to mention that it's made of 100% recycled plastic and is blue sign approved, except for the black version. It's very similar to the materials that we've seen on Peak Design's travel line. It's a crazy durable fabric, and yet it is sustainable and ethical, really good. The leather accents on the bag are the same new buck leather that we've seen on most of Peak Design's products. They've got heavy duty nylon webbing on all the straps, the loops and the handles. There is metal hardware used on the ladder locks and the sternum strap hooks and there is the usual hyperlon on the zipper pulls. And for all of you who are really into zippers, Peak Design has introduced into all their new backpacks, Ultra Zip. Ultra Zip is a new exterior zipper that is built to withstand decades of use. Peak Design claims that these zippers are designed and engineered to have vastly superior abrasion resistance to that of conventional normal zippers. These zippers are weatherproof, similar to YKK's AquaGuard zips, and they're really good zippers. They're running really well. Let's get onto the features. Starting from the sides, on both sides of this backpack, there are these pockets that are gusseted to accommodate a wide variety of different types of gear, say water bottles or tripods, things like that. This is my memo bottle slim, and it fits in really slim. If you had a bigger bottle, the pocket will expand out to accommodate the space. Also on both sides of the bag are these thick and padded hall handles, which allow you to pick the bag up from the ground at different angles. Also on one of the sides of the bag, you'll find an elastic cord attached to a Peak Design anchor. Now this is typically used as a key tether. I've got my Orbit key attached here. And what this gives me is quick access to my keys, but also I can keep track of my keys and never lose them because they're always attached to my anchor. Turning round to the harness, there are no drastic changes here, just a few tweaks. We have the coaxial shoulder straps which provide a great range of rotation to wrap around your shoulders ergonomically and comfortably. The back panel and shoulder straps are foam padded with a breathable and vented mesh. And the back panel has this ribbing that provides additional comfort and airflow. A new feature in this harness system though is the implementation of magnets to the shoulder straps, which just keep your magnets attached flat to the back panel. Behind the back panel, we have a luggage pass through, and when that's not in use, that is also kept flat and tight via a magnet. Going slightly lower behind the back panel, there is a sleeve here, which is for a waist belt. I can't really show it to you, but it's lined with Velcro so that you can attach a Peak Design waist strap, which is sold separately. Those are good for longer or heavier hauls. The shoulder straps have two loops here for attaching additional gear. And below that is a little thumb loop for adjusting the shoulder straps, especially when you want to swing the bag around for on-body access. We have the Peak Design sternum strap returning here. It's easily adjustable. It has three points of adjustment. It can be placed in the quick attach position or the stowed position. At the top, we have a nicely padded haul handle with the new buck leather. It's got a great tactile feel to it. And at the bottom of the bag, we have a reinforced base for extra durability. As we get into the main compartment, there are two ways of getting in, either via the side doors with the dual zippers, you can either pull down, or you can pull up, or via the flat top that is secured by Peak Design's mag latch. Mag latch gives super quick top access and is also very secure. The mag latch on the V2 has taken a slight facelift, being a bit more slimmer and a bit more ergonomic on the pull, but other than that, it's the same mag latch that we all know and love. Now I'm going to show you the main compartment and how I packed this bag. 
Now once you get into the main compartment, it is essentially a big empty cavity with these dividers so that you can compartmentalize your gear. So in some ways, it's similar to the traditional camera backpack where you put it face down, you unzip the back panel, you open the flap, and there is all your camera gear. And from there, you can adjust how you organize your gear. You can put dividers, things like that. To a similar degree, the everyday backpack is like that. It's a big empty space and you organize dividers, but this time it is modular and it is vertical like shelves. Inside the everyday backpack is three flex fold dividers. The flex fold dividers organize and protect your gear. So when you put the flex fold divider inside the backpack, you can have a normal shelf, which is flat. You just put some gear on there, or you can lift up a slip. And there you have what Peak Design calls a cubby. You can do that on the other side as well. You have two cubbies, three individual places to put gear. Or if you have a tall item that you want to go through the bag, you can put up the second slip and there you have a pass through. And if you're not carrying camera gear, you're just putting a lot of stuff in this bag and you don't really want these shelves in there, you can actually take them out, they're made of Velcro, and you can just put them away. Just looking at this side, I've got my Canon 6D with a 40mm pancake lens on the bottom, and I've got a Mavic Pro inside there. On the other side, I've got the controller for the Mavic, and I've got an 85 prime lens at the bottom. And what I've done to make sure that the Mavic doesn't move around too much is I've actually brought the shelves much closer to each other to give it a tight fit. As you may have noticed, the doors of the main compartment have these compartments to organize gear, which is really helpful. Just got some filters in here. I've got a mini tripod. In this zippered compartment, there are these two slots for batteries or SD cards. I've got my Canon batteries in here, the LPE6s. On the other side, I've got two of the Mavic batteries and also a Peak Design camera strap. Now opening the top via the mag latch, you can see that I haven't fully used the capacity of the bag. There's still a lot of space here and still a little bit of this shelf here to use. So if I really wanted to, I could chuck in a jacket. And at this point, it's getting quite full. I've got four different latches here to adjust my mag latch to depending on the current capacity of my bag. So right now it's a little bit full. Maybe I want to adjust it to the second or the third one. And so it's got that vera capacity if in any case you need to put more gear inside your bag. So this is at the fourth latch and it's important to note that the higher you raise the mag latch, the more open your flap top becomes. And the more open your flap top becomes, the less weather protection you have for the insides, the more exposed your gear is. So it's important to take note of that. Now getting into the last compartment, the device compartment. We've got a few little slip pockets here for smaller peripherals like a mouse. Right now I've just got a cable and some batteries. There's also a little slip here that you can put some other things in there if you really want, like an external hard drive, things like that. But getting to the devices, we have a tablet sleeve and a laptop sleeve, and there is a subdivider to make sure that they are separated and protected. In the tablet sleeve, I have an iPad mini. And right now in the laptop sleeve, I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. Now this laptop sleeve can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. Alrighty, so in typical Rush Faster fashion, we are going to put this bag to the test with the Rush Faster beer capacity test to see how much you can fit in. We're putting in these bottle six packs instead of the usual tinny six packs because we ran out of beer. Okay, so two six packs comfortably. Probably a little bit of space on the sides, but that's about how much you can fit in there. Now with the 30 liter, I'm able to put the six packs upright. So you could probably fit another six here if we went to the fourth latch on the mag latch. Lots of space in the 30 liter. Okay, so to give you a sense of size, this is the backpack on me. And this is the 30 liter version. You'll notice that installed all across the bag are these nylon attachment loops. These are here for Peak Design's cord hooks, which give you the ability to have external carry secured onto the bag. So these are the cables here. 
in the everyday backpack you get two long cables and two shorter cables. Shorter cables are typically for around here and here and on the sides. The longer cables are for things you want to wrap from the top of the bag. So say for instance maybe a tripod, a mat, a blanket, jacket, things like that. So everyone, this is the newly improved everyday backpack from Peak Design. It's an iconic, award-winning backpack for photo and everyday carry. It's built around access, organization, expansion, and protection. And it takes on some really functional and aesthetic improvements based upon customer feedback and years of design expertise. If you're interested in getting the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, there will be some affiliate links in the description below. If you like this video, if you found value in this video and you're thinking about getting a bag, please do use those affiliate links as they do help us out in making more of these videos. If you're not thinking about getting the bag but you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit the bell, subscribe to see more carry gear reviews and walkthroughs if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more Peak Design videos from us there will be some links on the screen at the end of this video but for now this has been the peak design everyday backpack we'll see you next time